Hey guys. So I'm not going to like, you know, try to be funny on this one. I'm just going to try to uh, make a timeline and uh, let it speak for itself. So, okay, so I, you know, I haven't studied this, you know, as if I were doing like a news report on it, but essentially there are four special operations soldiers that are in Niger. And this is just all according to what they're spoon feeding us in the media, okay? And they're on some, they're on a mission, they get ambushed and four U.S. soldiers are killed. Okay, so, you know, so then they start going like, why were they killed? Well, now you see, don't, you know, I would have just accepted it like, you know, um, sort of like, you know, bovinely as it was. Oh, well, another one of our soldiers on something we are doing somewhere out there probably fighting terrorism you know is is uh you know just happening and i sort of feel like it's just like you know 1984 we're always fighting somewhere but i'm sorry i'm getting off track um so anyway they get killed so then the question is why 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 always our question so then um they they investigate some more and they attribute it to a quote, massive intelligence failure, end quote. <laughs> so I didn't make that up, okay. So these four soldiers, they make it mean, if you, if you put this together, this is what I envision, okay? I mean, seriously, this is what I envision. They're just these four special ops soldiers and they're just sort of wandering around in, in the dark, you know, with a stick up their ass and then they get in until they get unceremoniously terminated in an ambush. You know. Okay. So now, but now we know that the reason they were doing that is because of a massive intelligence failure. Okay. Because they say that, like, you know, they're gathering intelligence from the natives, and the natives are under the thumb of the enemy, and the natives are afraid of reprisal from the enemy if they help the Americans. So, you know, and what's more, they're described as de more, more, you know, the morale is considered to be depressed in this area. And so, um, between these two, there's reasons believed that the intelligence that these soldiers were wandering around in the middle of the night, you know, might have been either just incorrect or even misleading, hence the term ambush. <clears throat> so, okay. Okay, so, you know, this is, that's just, you know, an unfolding, you know, drama. So then, um... You know, our, our esteemed president doesn't say anything about this, and, which I guess, you know, I mean, whatever. But then some of our astute, you know, journalists says, why haven't you said anything about this? And then he says, well, I'm going to say something about this, and what's more is that, you know, I'm going to call the families, and, you know, I'm going to send them letters, and I'm, I mean, most, most presidents don't do that. Barack Obama, he didn't do that. So then one of the other, you know, you know, or the same, I may perhaps, journalist says, well, that's not true. Barack, you know, President Obama, he made a point of, of doing that. And then, like, you know, President Trump says, well, that's what I've been told, um, you know, and, and then he moves on. You know, something along with those lines. So then, then there's, like, revealed that, um, <clears throat> that apparently, like, President Obama was known for like respecting the troops he he called them he sent letters and he even went to marine bases and military bases to receive the corpses of fallen soldiers and they have video footage of this and he's standing there and he's saluting and you know for every intent and purpose from the camera's eye looks completely you know um like like you know overcome but you know in a in a restrained manner in a restrained manner, he's you know, restrained, overcome but restrained, respectful and presidential and dignified, but still touched beyond belief. It's just unbelievable. It was probably some of the best footage I've ever seen of this president, who, by the way, was not one of my favorites. <clears throat> but apparently, you know, you know, neither was you know. They all look good now. <laughs> so anyway, um, so then you know this this all happens, and now. Um, so now, like, apparently, Trump feels, you know, Mayfield on the spot, but so he takes it upon himself to call one of these Gold Star families widow, you know, one of these, the, one of these Gold Star families, and calls the widow, and apparently, while talking with her, says, 
Um, he knew what he signed up for. Still, I guess it must hurt or something along those lines. So then this, um, you know, um, congresswoman from the House of Representatives from Florida, who apparently is not only from the district that the fallen soldier, you know, came from, but she knew him and guided his path away from the streets and into the army, and, um, and now he's dead. So she's there with several other people while Trump makes a speakerphone call to the widow and says this. And so she feels that this was disrespectful. And so she makes a comment to the press to which Trump says that she's a liar and that he has proof that she's a liar. And then General Kelly comes out, who's apparently the chief of staff of Trump's cabinet, and he hits the stump and and first he 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 rings everyone's he pulls everyone's heartstrings by talking about his son who died seven years ago fighting in afghanistan i believe and then he says that this congresswoman is a liar and then you know he points out how in some obscure speech made i think a couple years ago for an fbi building she took all the credit for getting the funding and just took up the entire time you know, blowing hard about what a great politician she was rather than respecting the fallen FBI agents for whom the building was being dedicated. So then the local newspaper where this event happened dug out the video of that event and put it on for everyone to see. And it turns out that that statement couldn't have been less true from the president's chief of staff, that indeed, actually, um, she had been very... Um, she had only spoken about, you know, getting approval for the names that were going to be placed on the building, which is actually honoring the fallen agents. And so, um, and this in response to the Trump administration continued to say it was all a lie, that this woman was lying, that everyone was lying, it was all a lie, and they were right, but, you know, and more later. So, then the widow comes out, you know, and speaks, I think, on Today's show or on the Today show or some, some similar news show. And this says, repeats the same quote that Trump made to her and says that his tone was callous and unsympathetic um, and that she was so stunned and hurt that she just didn't say anything until he hung up. So, in response to that, Trump says that the widow is a liar and uh, the widow is, you know, disrespecting him and disrespectful and that he was completely respectful in his call. And then um, today I read a headline saying that, um, you know, that General Kelly is now releasing all sorts of heretofore undisclosed details about what these four soldiers were doing out there in Niger to begin with. So anyway, that's 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 up to the minute on that, and you know, I just think that it's it's sort of interesting to me personally that um, you know, even if you were going to say like you know, soldiers signed up for something because they do sign up, but but that's part of why we respect their sacrifices. You see, so um, you know, you know, just to say, well, I mean, it sounds to me like what well, if you were to literally interpret what Trump said, he's saying that the soldier knew he signed up to be killed by a massive intelligence failure, okay? And then I guess that means everyone who is responsible for the massive intelligence failure knew they signed up to get him killed with a massive intelligence failure. And it's sort of like, wow, so when you're a soldier, you sign up to get yourself killed. And it's essentially what Trump was saying because he, you know, usually due to stupidity, 